Good afternoon, everyone, and what a wonderful day as we celebrate the opening of the Corps Leadership and Military Science Building that joins the three new Corps residence halls on the Upper Quad. So today we're welcoming some 500 uh, of our alumni back as part of the Corps reunion this weekend, and they're getting their first opportunity to see inside the new buildings. This building is a remarkable achievement in architecture and design. I hope if you haven't been through it yet, uh, you see the imprint of the Commandant throughout. And it captures and preserves the stories that make up the history of the Corps of Cadets. If you stand behind the Addison Caldwell statue, he lines up precisely with the flag that we raise and lower each day. That flagpole aligns with the one that is atop Lane Hall. That flagpole aligns with the one that's behind me in front of this new building. Basically creating a line of history that began with the first cadet who arrived here in 1872 to the home of the Corps for the next 150 years. Now I got a little sad news. Jennifer Fullhart is going to retire next year. But you know, we will always remember him when we walk up here on Upper Quad and look around and say, wow. Do you agree? I don't know about legacy for me, but what I do think is it's a legacy for this core. Uh, this was a core endeavor. Everything that is here is because of friends or alumni of this core. It's them extending their story to generations to come in the future, and I think that's the real legacy. And like the building that we're officially opening today, all these things were made possible by you, the university, Dr. Sands, Charlie Fligger, many donors, and yes, Jay and Renee Pierce. Thank you, and go Hokies!